Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to another edition of the Young Voices Forum. Um, I hope your day is going as great as mine is going. Our topic for today is amplifying young voices. Um, last week, we celebrated the International Youth Day, and the team was engaging young people for global action. So um, I have a young person with me in the studios today uh, who would introduce himself um, shortly. We will talk about that and what it means for us as young people in the country. Welcome, Ali. Thank you, uh, <laughs> Madam Host. Okay, so um, my people don't know you. I'll just a brief introduction of yourself to my audience. <laughs> okay, um, I am called Aliu. My full name is Ibiso Aliu. I am a young person at Planned Parenthood Association of Ghana. I am an HR advocate. I advocate for young people's rights and vulnerable groups as well. Mm. Think basically that is what I have to about myself. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Lee. So um this year's team was um, engaging young people in for global, action. for global action. What does it mean for you as a young person? I think even only the theme is, is something that is really um, that is saying that is giving us as a young as young people it's, it's something that is giving us encouragement. To, to, to do what the, the adults usually do for us. So I think it's something, the theme, the engaging youth for global action is something that was supposed to enhance or look into, into um, see into global uh, engaging young people the engagement of young people at national level, at local level, and at global level, how it's, it contributes to the SDG goals. That is the 2030 agenda. I think basically that is what it means. Okay. So um, this year, did you do anything special to mark the day? Yes, actually we did. Okay. Due to COVID-19, we're planning to have a forum that um, will engage people, that we will engage people um, in the community mm -hmm. to discuss more about young people and mm -hmm. their involvement. But then due to the COVID-19, this activity was not able to come. So we had to have a Twitter storm where people were joining on Twitter and then we're discussing more about young people and how um, they can be involved in making a change in our societies. Oh, okay. So, um, as a young person, um, what do you understand by meaningful youth engagement? I think, basically, what I understand by meaningful youth engagement is just the act of engaging youth, involving youth in planning, implementation, and also evaluating whatever you are doing. That yeah. is what I understand by meaningful youth participation. If you, if you are looking at meaningful youth participation and you don't have these three things, or one of this is missing, it's not a meaningful youth participation, okay. uh, what I know. Yeah. Uh, so if you just joined us, this is the Young Voices Forum. And today we are um, discussing and amplifying young people's voices in relation to the recent celebration of the International Youth Day. Um, if you are watching us, you can leave your comments and your contributions in the comments section. We are live on Facebook, so you can join us, leave your comments and contributions in the comments section, and they will be read out um, pretty shortly. So um, are the, um, do you think that, Ali, do you think that young people are being engaged meaningfully like from where you sit, from uh, I'm sure that you've actually volunteered with um, certain organizations up until this point. Yes. And would you say that the meaningful participation we keep talking about as young people 
uh, the adults or let's say yes the adults are actually listening are they involving us at the various levels yes Kai, what i know or where i come from meaningful youth participation is one of the um things that they ensure they uh, engage young people in planning even sometimes budgeting they engage them in those things they engage them, they even make them let leaders when it comes to the implementation and even evaluating as well. Mm. So from where I come from, I know um, meaningful youth participation is something they are working towards in enhancing in Ghana. So when you look at other countries, mm. I have friends from other countries where on the youth day I, I was also engaging with them to find out most of these things. And when you look at other countries, meaningful youth participation, Ghana is doing very well when it comes to meaningful youth participation. Oh, really? Yes. You have statistics to back that up? Yes, Ghana, <laughs> Ghana is really doing well. Okay. Like, I have a friend in Sierra Leone who was telling me about how they, they, leave, they, are, they leave the young people whilst they are doing what the young people were supposed to do. Whilst they only engage them when it comes to politics, mm. when it comes to uh, floating, mm -hmm. when it comes to doing hey hey. That's mm -hmm. what they engage the young people to do, which is not the right thing. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I think Ghana is it's doing, doing well. well. Okay. Yes. So um, today there is a little twist to our discussion. I want you, the viewers, to do something for me. I want you to tag young people that you think are doing well in the various fields so that I would acknowledge them on the program. So you just have to tag them in the comment sessions. Tell me a little bit about them. What field are they in and what are they doing? So I can like, acknowledge them. We were supposed to do this last week, but unfortunately we weren't able to, and I want to do it today. So any young person that you think is doing well in any field, just tag the young person. Tell me a little about the person and let me acknowledge and thank the person for his contribution to um, the... Uh, any project and also to the country as a whole. I will be reading that out pretty shortly. So tell someone to tell someone that we are tagging people to acknowledge them in the comment session. And also just keep your comments coming. I would read that one too as well. So Ali, yes. what benefits can society gain from meaningfully engaging the youth? You see, one thing they can gain is ideas. Yeah. Young people are really living with ideas. Brilliant ideas. But you see, the thing is, if you don't engage them, there's no way you know. Yeah. So that's one thing they can end. And the second thing is, when you engage them in everything, your things are always quick. You have what, whatever you want. Yeah. So it can lead to success for uh, whatever they are doing whatever activities they are doing. If young people are really engaged, meaningful mm -hmm. in our societies, one, it will benefit, the young people will benefit as well as the society as well. Mm -hmm. So I think um, one thing the society can benefit, which they usually neglect, is the ideas, the brilliant ideas young people are really going mm. with. Yeah. Okay, so um, at this point, I am giving out my first time, you know, I, that's what I do. I'm Mother Christmas. I make Christmas come way before December. So I am giving out my first airtime, which is Vodafone. So if you are in there, if you are watching, I'm giving out Vodafone airtime. Fastest figures. If you get it, do acknowledge it in the comment section. So the numbers are as follows. Um, four, three. Four two seven zero four four seven seven zero three four eight. I repeat the numbers. That's Vodafone airtime, and the numbers are four three four two seven zero four four seven seven zero three. Four, eight. That is Vodafone airtime, and if you get it, 
please indicate it in the comment section. And I am still taking names of young people that are doing well in their various fields. So you can tag them in the comment section and just tell me something briefly about them. So you mentioned the person's name. Tell me something briefly about the person so I can acknowledge and celebrate this person on this platform. And keep your comments and contributions also coming in the comment section. And if you have gotten the airtime, please make an acknowledgement. Uh, it's a reminder that this is the Young Voices Forum coming to you live from South Sign TV Studios, an initiative by Savannah Signatures and in collaboration with the Ghana SRHL Alliance. And this is supported by CMLV and Gabby's Beauty Palo. So Ali, yes. I um, how are the young now I want to switch the conversation to the Guso project. I, I understand that you've been in there since the inception yes. up until now that is coming to its completion. Yes. So how are the youth and young people engaged in the Get Up Speak Out project? All right. Thank you very much for this yeah. question. Uh, truly, I've been one of the people who have been engaged fully in this implementation of the project. And, you know, when you come to my site, uh, the GUSU project implements in different sites. Yeah where we have the, the reproductive health education and services for youths. Mm. That's one part, we call them facilitators. So they go to schools, they go to communities to educate the comprehensive education on SRHR. Mm. And the other thing is the YLMG, the, they do mentorship. Mm. And we also have the project support team. And this project support team are those, they are people who are from this various groups I, I mentioned. So they pick them from those groups and they are those representing these young people at doing the budgeting, doing the planning, doing the implementation and also doing the leading the uh, the reporting and those things. So GUSU project has really involved is really doing well when it comes to involving young people in the implementation of their activities. Yeah. Okay. So I am just going to read some comments I have gotten. Um, Mujahid Fodjo Opon says, um, I'm watching live inside PPAG Tamale. Very interesting conversation. Thank you very much, Mujahid. And then um, I've gotten some names here about young people that are doing amazing in their respective, respective fields. And the uh, names I'm, got, I'm getting are Twa Fozia Alassan, um, Shani Mohammed, Sharifa Awudu, Nandia Wendy Tifoka, Max Ayamba, Joe Gameli, and Irene Siao. Arafat Abbas says, You guys have been a great influence on lives of many young people. For all of that, we say thank you. So thank you very much, Fauzia, Shani, Sharifa, Wendy. Max and Joe Gameli and Irene, thank you very much for um, all what you've done, engaging young people. On, on today, we celebrate you for your contribution to the lives of young people and the nation as a whole. And then Abdel Hanan also says, Sharifa Audu is an SRHR advocate who has been working towards making the world a better place for children, young people, and girls. Sharifa has worked with various organizations on different projects, including Curious Minds, Dance for Life, and UNFP. So thank you very much, Sharifa. I will do today. Subsign TV celebrates you for your contribution and everything you've done towards making young people great in this country. And also, um, um, another name is um, Fabian Jaffet. So Abdul Hanan says, Fabian is a project officer at Curious Minds Ghana. He's, a, he's passionate about youth, SRHR, and is working to make the world a better place for young people. So we just want to say a big thank you to Fabian for all the work you are doing towards um, young, making young people better in this nation. All your contribution to young people's issues. Thank you very much. So you can keep the names coming. When you're sending the names, just write something a little about them so we can celebrate and acknowledge them on this platform so um are you back to the issues do you think that um the guso project has had a significant impact on young people 
in with regards to their SROHR, like comparing before the project and now, would you say there's been some noticeable changes about young people's issues with regards to SROHR? Yes, it, it does. It's really something that has really changed a lot of young people's life. Me personally, it happens to be one of the Resi facilitators where I go to communities. Me, I like going to the communities to engage mainly young ladies. So there was this story. When you look at the stories that are coming from the Gusu project, the success stories, you realize that they have really touched a lot of people's lives. Me personally, I had a story. I, one day I went to the community to have my sessions with my group, with a, some young ladies where I was just there and one lady came in. Yeah. And when I, I was, fortunately I was talking about contraceptives. Then after the session, it was somewhere around six. Yeah. I was about to go home, then she came to me. Then she thought we were just giving people money, mm -hmm. not knowing we are here doing this. Mm -hmm. But then she has an issue that she wants to share with me. She didn't know who to share that with. So she shared with me that um, her husband, has been cheating on her. Mm -hmm. She's actually 17 years old. And she's, she's married? married, yes, okay. with one child. So her, has a, her husband has been cheating on her just because she has refused her, that the husband, she didn't, they don't want to give birth again. Okay. So she, she doesn't allow the husband to come in to bed with her, I mean. So, because of that, the husband sometimes doesn't even sleep at home. And the, according to the research she has, he, she has made on the husband, the husband has someone else that she goes to sleep, he goes to sleep with. So because of that, it's, it became a problem to her. She didn't know what to do because she doesn't want to give birth again. She's just 17 years old and she's already having a child. So because of that, it was a problem to her. Then after she sat for the session and she came to me and we, we had a conversation, I also spoke to her, I counseled her, we spoke up a lot mm -hmm. and I had to refer her, she and then the husband to the facility to have uh, contraceptives, to get contraceptives made for themselves so that they can have... Um, the husband actually agreed to go to the facility? Yes, the husband actually agreed. Okay, that's The impressive. husband actually agreed to come to the facility. So when they come and that is after you spoke to them? Yes, so okay. after a year, that was in 2018. Okay. So that was in 2019, I saw her. I went to the same community to create a, the same group again, mm. to have Resi uh, facilitation with them. And I met her, so I just asked her, so how far with your husband now? She said, they are fine. Okay. They okay. are okay. They are just still looking after the one child they had. But they are free and they are having yeah, healthy, normal conversation with yeah. among themselves. So because of, if not because of the Gusu project, mm -hmm. she needs to have gained this um, or this counseling I give to her. Yeah. So I think the Gusu project has really impacted a lot of people in lives. Yeah. Me like this, I couldn't have stand in front of people to yeah. talk. Yeah. But because of the Gusu project, mm -hmm. I've been empowered. Mm -hmm. I've gained more knowledge and I've been able to stand in front of people to talk. Yeah. I mean, to counsel them, to change people's lives which is something I'm really feeling. Okay. So, so um, there's this question that people ask, you know, when we talk about GUSO and young people, would you, um, would you say that the GUSO project factored in young people from all walks of life, or it just focused on some particular young people? I don't actually know, but when you look at my site, for instance, yes, we involve vulnerable groups. We involve vulnerable like um, like um, we have people we call the uh, the sex workers. Okay. We involve them. Meanwhile, we don't tell them. We, like we don't go out to say they are sex workers. When you look at some other organizations that I know, for instance, HFFG, they involve uh, people living with HIV to also be 
part of the implementation. Okay. So I think they have really touched all parts of life. Okay. Okay. So what um do you involve um the choir years? Have you ever involved them in any yes. of the projects? So when you see when you, yes, we don't really uh, involve them like us in, in the implementation. But you've engaged them. Yes, we've engaged them several times. Yes, as part of our uh, action plans, they are also part of people we meet to educate and even provide service for them. Oh, okay. So um, I will get back to you. So um, another message, some of the messages I'm getting in the comment section. This one is from Abdul Rashid Imoro, and he says, there are many young people to be proud of, and I just want to use this medium to congratulate all of them for their efforts. And Abdul Rashid Imoro says, the SR, uh, the She Plus champions are amazing in the way they educate their peers on their reproductive needs. So we just want to say a big thank you to the She Plus um, champions and all the young people that are also working in the SRHR field, engaging their peers and also giving out information. Thank you very much for the work you do. We are really, really grateful for that. So, um, um, comment about what would you say that um, as young people we face challenges? Do you agree that young people face challenges? Okay, so, so what are some of the challenges you do you as a youth and a young person face in relation to meaningful engagement? In relation to, to meaningful, meaningful engagement. engagement, just like when I was mentioning um, the things that are supposed to be there, and then you can call it as a meaningful youth participation, which is the um, uh, the planning of activities, implementation, and then even taking report or evaluation. One thing I can say, it's really something that is young people do they do hinder young people when it comes to that is mm -hmm. the budget the budget is one thing that they usually uh, mm. don't involve young people, people. okay yes. so i think but then if young people were also involved they could have shared ideas that could have even mm. benefited or maybe the amount of money you were supposed to spend on something mm. you wouldn't have maybe you would have spent less yeah. So I think that's one thing that we could yes we talk could work on. on but, okay. but then still still on the budget and I'm glad I'm glad you talked about this um side of it, um about the budget and you know recently there was this young person on Twitter that was talking about how um organizations engage young people and then somehow do not want to, you know, um give them their uh remissions uh, worth. Um, I, I don't know whether you saw it. I've forgotten the guy's name. I'm trying to remember. When I remember, I would say it. Um, she talks about how young, um, some organizations take advantage of young people in regards to, let's say, their talent, their contribution, and their ideas. So would you um, say that some, some organizations take advantage of young people um, under the guise of meaningful youth engagement? Yes, they do. Okay. They do. Because I can remember, I am, I can remember of an organization that I've worked with, where we worked, yeah. we worked, and then they pay us. Mm -hmm. So after they pay us, mm -hmm. the officer in charge, now called back after they pay us, and everybody saw they pay us, called back to say we have to show appreciation for engaging us. Wow. Because if he or she didn't engage us. We wouldn't have gained that money. So we need to give, Split the money. give some part of the money to, so that um, it will be a source of uh, appreciation. Wow. And if there's any other project again, they can involve us. Wow. It's something me, myself, I didn't even agree. So I had to just let, leave that project. Because wow. how can I work? Yes. I have, I am a volunteer, but then a volunteer sometimes also needs, for instance, if I'm moving from here to TTH, mm. I need to transport myself. Yeah. Already, I'm already volunteering my knowledge, my time. Skills. My skills. Yeah. And this transportation I'm also taking, 
you want to still take part of it. Wow, 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 wow. Which so, was something I also thought about and I just left the project. I just said, no, I can't be part of this one. Hmm. Okay. So, um, talking about young people and volunteering, I'm glad you brought up that part. Do you think that um, young people are able, um, some young people, um, let's say, do you think that young people um, are ready and like available to volunteer for organizations, but maybe organizations are not taking notice of them or something? I think so. I think young people are really there to volunteer their time, their knowledge, everything for an organization. But, but then it depends on um, the fold you want, you know, everybody and what they want to volunteer for. Yeah. You get me. So if if there's no any organization who wants to pick you in that fold you want to volunteer, mm. there's no way you can volunteer. Yeah. So I think young people are really there to volunteer. Yeah. And also the other thing is that just what I mentioned, because of these petty petty things, uh, uh, was the project officers taking advantage of volunteers? Yeah, it's one reason why people they want to volunteer, but because of this, me, I'll come and do all this, and you still want to cheat me exactly. because it's a cheat. Yeah, so they will not want to volunteer. Okay, so organizations that are watching us, we are just saying that pay young people their money's worth when they volunteer with you because it's not easy volunteering your time, your skill your ideas and then at the end of the day you are not given your due quota so this is an appeal to organizations that engage young people to try as much as possible to um give them their remunerations worth when they volunteer with you so if you just joined us this is the young voices forum and today we are discussing amplifying young people's voices in relation to the recent celebration of the International Youth Day, and I'm um, having a conversation with Ali, um, a volunteer from PPAG, and we've been talking about the issue. So you can keep your contributions coming in the comment section, and then if there's any young person that you wish to uh, um, mention and acknowledge for his contribution in any field, you can mention the person in the comment section so that we celebrate the person on our um, program today. And this program is brought to you by the Savannah Signatures in collaboration with the Ghana SRHR Alliance, supported by SGS, Sema V, and Gabby's Beauty Palo. So still, still, still on the issues. How do you think that young people can, um, how do you think adults should work with young people and the youth? Should work with Wait, yeah. How, how, how do you think that the, the relationship should be? What are some of the things that they need to um, take note of when they are working with young people? Let me start with that. All right. So mm. things that they need to take, take note, note of. of when they are working with yes. young people. For me, I don't... People usually say meaningful youth participation. You should give everything to the young people to do. Yes, that's, that's a good thing. But then, as an adult, you are always supposed to serve as a guide. Mm -hmm. So you need to serve as a guide. Lead, show them the path, and then let them go. Yeah. So as an adult, you need to be served as a guide when you are working with young people. Let them do because there's a saying that, or people, they say that these people you are working with, no, one day you will not be there and they will have to stand on your position or at your position. So therefore, you need to let them show them the path, show them the right thing to do so that when you are not there, they will be able to do what you are doing. So I think um, adults should always be guide, guide young people to do the, um, what they are expecting. Yeah. Do you also think that um, adults should um give young people the space to show their creativity yes just like i said give them the guide let them do their work so in in doing their work they show you what they can do so as an adult you sit and then observe what they can do 
whatever they can do, then you can know maybe let's say who to engage in this place, who to engage in this place. So if you are an observer, you are the best person who, who knows who can do this, who can do this. So that's why I said you need to serve as a guide. Don't yeah. do the work. Yeah, in and all then, fields, yes. including the budgeting. Yes, including the budgeting. <laughs> all right. So if you just joined us, this is the Young Voices Forum. And... Uh, it's coming to you live from the Savannah Signature Studio. So I'm giving away my second air time. And this time around, this is Ethel Tigo, Pastor's Fingers. I think I still haven't got acknowledgement for who got the um, Vodafone air time I shared earlier on. I don't know if it's because um, no one has actually gotten it yet or something. But this is Ethel Tigo. And... The numbers are as follows: four zero three zero eight three five six three seven one one nine 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 eight four zero three zero eight three five six three seven one one nine 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 eight this is etl tigo so if you got it just acknowledge it in the comment section and i have a comment here which says um from abdul rashid Imoro, which says it's sad to hear that some project officers try to take advantage of young people i know right. it's very very sad in this day and age where um you're engaging young people for uh a meaningful youth participation and then someone decides to take advantage of a young person volunteering his time his skills and ideas it's truly sad so you can also keep your comments and contributions coming in the comment section and if you got the airtime kindly acknowledge we have um some few minutes to wrap up we are still open to taking names of young people that are doing well in their fields that um you want to us to acknowledge and congratulate on our show. So um, I would say, um, what are uh, your final words? Okay, my final words. Yeah. Um, I also want to say that young people, we are really doing well. I don't have to say this. You know it. We, the young people, we are really doing well. Our volunteerism is something that is really making an impact in our societies, in our brothers and sisters, in our families. So don't stop. Your volunteerism is very strong and it's really changing people's lives. I here would never stop or would not stop. I want you to also say that you would not stop. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ali. So um, I also just want to recognize all the young people that are doing well in their various fields. And I want to say a very big thank you. And I want to say that each and everything you do, no matter how little it is, um, goes a long way to build the nation in uh, way. Um, okay, so I think I have a comment here that says, um, please ask your guests what level of budgeting young people need to be engaged in. So I, I know I just made you say your final words, but this is um, <laughs> um, something we cannot. Um, so what level of um, budgeting would you want young, do you think that young people need to be engaged in? I think all levels. Okay. You know, when you are going to have an activity, you need to budget. They should be involved. When the project is coming, they should be involved in planning their activities. I think when you are sending your proposal, mm -hmm. you give your ideas on what you want to use, to the money they want to give you to do. Mm -hmm. So I think they should involve these young people in that. So when the money comes, they should involve them in planning their activities do whatever distribution they want to do with the money with the young people because they are in their fold. 
Yeah. Assuming you do a budget and I go and I'm stranded somewhere. Okay. How do you expect me to? Okay. So I think they should be involved. If not, but the activity budgeting. They should be involved in they that. Should be involved. So um I, I want to find out. Has it um I I don't know. Do you think that why do you think that um when um the people you work with or adults that are in front in the forefront of the project do not work in the budget and like what what comes to your mind? How do you feel about it? You know, when it comes to monetary matter, who yeah. one trust no one. Yeah, okay. I don't trust you. Yes, I'm volunteering, so whatever you give me, I think that is what you are supposed to give me. Mm. But then, yes, that money you are giving me, mm -hmm. if I had the plan with you, yeah. some part of the money, let's say, I'm not saying, but yeah. some part of the money, or maybe, yes, some part of the money could have been used for something else that could have impacted in my sister's life, mm -hmm. some parts of the money could have been used in maybe um, changing someone's life. Just mm -hmm. let's just say it that way. Mm -hmm. Or maybe this money you are giving me, mm -hmm. if you had had a conversation with me, you would have known that this money you are giving me cannot even cater for my transportation from that place, mm -hmm. from my venue to the activity place. Mm -hmm. So if you involve me, know the cost I could spend from mm. my business. I think um, that, that would be, be okay so you just want activities that are planned you should be involved in the budgeting in the budget in the budget I am going there so yeah. I need to be able to you, say I need to tell you what I should spend to go there or to do the activity okay okay so um, thank you very much uh, Ali for coming we are very grateful that you took time of your schedules to be in the studios with us today and also i want to say a very big thank you to the technical team for holding us down arafat and fatal thank you very much for being behind the cameras and making this a success and also thank you very much to the ghana srhr alliance and sima v the sgs and thank you for supporting and gabby's beauty palo too so Young people, you are amazing. And don't let anyone tell you less. Continue giving your time. Continue shining in whichever corner you find yourself. All the little contributions we make somehow contribute to the greatness of the country and the world at large. So thank you very much for all the sacrifices, all the ideas you put into the various places you are. You rock. So my name is Rahel Enchi. This is the Young Voices Forum, and I was your host for today. So same time next week, we'll come your way again with another topic. And thank you for the comments and the contributions. We are very grateful. Bye.